Michael from Coin Collecting and Detecting and just picked up a whole bunch of $2 coin rolls. Um, and yeah, I wanted to get some $1 rolls as well, but uh, the bank I went to, they were out of, they didn't have enough of the $1 rolls. So just got a couple more of the $2 rolls, but um, <laughs> bit of a d bit of a dilemma. Oh, not a dilemma, but um, this is what sort of happens sometimes. So these, mo a lot of these rolls, I haven't checked through all of them, really fresh coins and a lot of them that are the 2022 coins you can see the 2022 on that um on this side of the coin how's it going codmo um yeah so i'm gonna sort these out so a lot of these rolls are like that so i'll put i'm gonna put these aside so that's a looks like it's all um a 2022 some of them have got little scrapes on them and stuff. And that's what happens when they're sort of um, minted. Um, they'll bump into each other, um, and even in the rolling process. So these are 2022 $2 coins. That's a heads heads. They call it a heads heads when you've got a heads coin on either end of the roll. And this one here is a heads tails. That's like the tail side of the coin and the heads side. So this rolls like that. And I did look up prices of... Um, so sometimes this turns into a bit of an opportunity. So it's my initial thoughts are this is a bit of a bummer because I can't search through these coins for rare and valuable coins because they're all um, 2022 coins. But you can turn into a bit of an opportunity if you go, okay, well, look up look the um, how much these rolls are selling for and look up how much these coins are selling for. Um, nice, fresh, new condition. So I just did that on eBay actually. So I jumped on eBay and looked up the prices. $3.20 to $7 each. Um, these are selling for individually. Um, and as rolls, people are selling these as rolls like this. So sometimes heads, heads, um, or heads, tails, and they're selling for between about $70 and $90 each roll. So I could turn around, just put these straight on eBay and list it at a price somewhere between 70 and $90 and sort of wait for sales on that. Or I could sort of open up some rolls and sell the coins individually, um, and make a little bit of money that way too. But, um, yeah, that does take a little bit of time for things to sell. So you're sort of tying up a lot of, a lot of, um, yeah, your money in waiting for those things to sell. I'll check out a few comments while I'm just sort of <laughs> banging on here. So let's see. I'll come back to the start and I'll have a look through some of the comments here. Um, it's been happening a lot. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, nice uncircular. How are you going? Well, thank you. Hi from the states. Got a question. What's What's a 2010 uncirculated set worth? I've got a couple. Oh, I don't really know, actually. I, yeah, um, I'm not too sure. I ha haven't got um, prices on the, the set sets. Yeah, could be color. Oh, yeah, I don't think they're color because a lot of the roles that I've sort of checked, I haven't looked through a lot of these. I'm going to search through it together with you um, here. But um, I'm tipping they're all Aboriginal elder coins. But yeah, I probably would need to open up one or two roles just to confirm that um, as well. Let's keep an eye. I'll keep looking through some of these comments. Hey, try TikTok. I oh, know, no, I won't do that. Thanks. <laughs> some sort of. I uh, went to the mint two days ago in Canberra and got the new dinosaur coin. Nice, nice. Hi from Adelaide. How's it going? What would a Captain Feather saw two dollar coin be worth? Oh, anywhere between um, three dollars and seven dollars. I went to the mint two days ago and got the new dinosaur coin. Yeah, yeah, cool. That's nice. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's. Um, I'll keep sorting through these. This one looks like it's a heads heads all 2022 coins. This one looks like it hasn't got those coins, so I'll put that aside and that could be one I can search today. Um, this is looking like it's probably a, yep, all 2022 coins, heads, heads. So I'll put the heads, heads there. All right, this one's maybe a heads, tails. Yep, heads, tails. So I'll put that across the side. Okay, tails, tails. So that's a different little pile I've got there so tails tails so because these are all <clears throat> come out of the sorry out of the um the machine like this then they're probably they probably are all 2022 coins because they've obviously all been rolled up so that was a tails tails put that over there hey love your content and vibe keep your vibe of curiosity and kindness you're amazing thank you appreciate that thank you Elder coins, probably, yeah, yep. So this has got the um, 2022 coins, but yeah, looking like they're all elder coins, yep. Or you can take them out with gloves and put them in flips. List the quantity as how many you have. Yeah, that's right, yeah, you can do that. And you tend to get a bit more than rolls. That's right, yeah, so I sort of did a bit of a calculation. So 
the the price range individually individually um, three dollars twenty to seven dollars each is some recent selling prices on these coins individually um, in good condition. So even if you if you did it like um, even if you set it at a price at say five dollars and you sold all twenty five coins for five dollars, that's one hundred and twenty five dollars. Um, and if you've sold it for six dollars, it's like it's a bit more again. So that's one hundred and twenty five dollars if you sold them at five dollars each, compared to selling the whole roll as a roll for between seventy and ninety dollars. So you you do make a little bit more money out of it if you sell them individually, but it does take probably longer to sell individually than as a roll. So you are tying up a fair bit of money waiting for that to happen. <clears throat> Anything special with Blinky Bill? No, not that I'm aware of. No. Great coins, low mintage, beautiful though. Yeah, so it's, yeah, we won't probably know the mintage figures on these 2022 coins, full mintage figures until next year probably. But yeah, it could be worth holding. And that, this, that's the other thing, could be worth just holding on to these longer term because it's the last, it's the last of the coins with the queen on them. And who knows, down the track, it could be low mintage and it could, they could sort of rise in value. Yeah. And I don't know, like, it's funny, like, you get all these, you get these coins like this and you think, oh, geez, it's been, a whole of Australia's been flooded with these coins, but it's, it might just be one location that they've just released them to. So, um, don't really know, don't really know. Hoping the Qantas mintage doesn't get updated. Well, I think the mintage figures were released, the, the report was released just the other day. So, I'm not sure if anyone's had a chance to have a look at it. I know, I know there's a little video that someone did talking briefly about what they sort of saw in the report, um, but I'll have a look at it in the next couple of days. Got 40 rolls of 2022 elders. I'm holding all mine. Yeah, nice one, Simo. Yeah. Yeah, so the same. I might, sh I'm going to have to have a bit of a think about what I'm going to do. All right, so here's one there that I can search because that's got an ender that's not one of the fresh looking ones. So that they're all 2022s there. So two of those are heads tails and one of those is heads heads. So I'll put the heads heads with the heads heads. All right, how many rolls have I got left in this little bag? I've got five, so I'll move that bag to the side. What do we got here? Yeah, they're looking like the, all the fresh new coins as well. So let's check these ones. Heads tails. Tails, heads. So most of these are heads, tails, which is probably a good thing because then people can see, like if you are going to sell them in rolls, then people go, okay, well, there's there's a 2022 coin on that end and there's a fresh coin on this end. Well, it's got a bit of, just a bit of something that's sitting on top. But um, yeah, then you sort of get a bit more of a feel as opposed to if you just had an Aboriginal Aboriginal on this end and on the other end. You wouldn't really know if it's 2022 coins and the same with this if you if you had 2022 coins on both ends you wouldn't know if it's a colored coin or or up in your elder coin so having heads tails probably is a little bit more ideal but there we go that's um a little bit unfortunate for searching through coins looking for rare and valuable coins because i've only got two rolls two rolls that i can search um because all of the other rolls um, are all <laughs> the same thing. All right, let's get a bag in place. Let's um, let's check one of these rolls out. Let's check both of them out. All right. Would you ever think about making videos collecting foreign coins, even though it'd be harder to do? Um, I, yeah, I did a video just about some foreign coins I picked up from a bank. Yeah, that was just, I released it last night actually, but um, yeah, I just don't have access to probably enough, but um, yeah, to sort of do it like I do with the Australian coins, but yeah, I might do it. Try and do a bit more content with some foreign coins. Hello from Cincinnati, Ohio. How's it going? Hope your day is off to a good start. Yeah, it is. Has thanks, Brad. It's probably what well, it's lunchtime here in Australia where I am, but um, I'm not sure what time is over there. It might be the middle of the night. So hopefully your day's been going well too. Eight PM. Okay, nice. When is Charles coming on to our coins in twenty twenty three? Twenty twenty three. Been loving your videos and lives for a long time, but euros aren't as collectible. Ah, okay, there you go. Good, 
Good evening from Australia. G'day, how's it going? How much would the World War Two coins World War Two coins cost? Um the World War Two coins, you mean the seventy fifth anniversary? Twenty twenty uh, sorry, 2020 coins. Yeah, $10 to $22 each is some recent selling prices, if that's the coin you're referring to there. Always good. 9 p.m. here, sir. Nice one, Brad. Um, all right. Whoops. Drop that one. Hey, Rory, how's it going? Hi, evening. It's lunchtime. Yeah, lunchtime in Australia where I am. All right. Do you collect the nice coins or give them all back in the end? Um, I do collect some nice coins, but I don't need to hold on to too many of them. So I'd probably look at selling on the the nice coins. Yeah. I haven't been as focused on selling coins recently, although <laughs> um, after today of receiving all of these coin rolls that have got all 2022 coins in them, um, Probably going to need to sell some of those ons to free up some funds to keep on getting more coins. So these one, this one here is a Paralympic team set to soar from the 2020 Olympic coins um, series. There's about six different coins, but um, some prices, $2.50 to $7 on those ones. That's cool to have a bit of color. 2 a.m. in the UK, okay. Ooh, pretty, pretty early in the morning there. I used to have a jar full of old Irish punt coins, but lost, got lost in the process of moving house. That's no good, not good at all. Um, have you noticed less colored coins? Now there is more collected. Yeah, for sure, yep. Uh, do you know how rare the 2022, I'm not sure what that word is after 2022 there, trying to, uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not sure if the spelling sort of did an auto-correct on you. What's the most expensive coin you got? Oh, I don't really know. I haven't sort of checked the prices on all the coins that I've got. Uh, best coin you've found in a roll? Um, oh, probably a wavy baseline 20 cent coin. Yeah, from 1966. Do you know how rare a 2022 anniversary peacekeeping is? Oh, okay, anniversary peacekeeping. Um, $8 to $12. $8 to $12. 2022 $1 coin. So the standard issue $1 coin in the 2022 mob of roos, $20 to $30 the last time I checked the prices. But I'm going to be, over the next couple of days, I'm going to be researching the recent selling prices of all the coins on my coin lists and updating them for the November release. And for those people who are subscribed, I'm going to email out to everyone who's subscribe to those monthly coin lists. I'm going to email the coin list out at the start of the month to everyone rather than sort of waiting until your corresponding day for the payment. But um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. I used to have some round 50 cent pieces and I can't find them now. Oh, that's no good because they are worth a little bit now between 15 and $30 each. Okay, okay. Twenty twenty one, nineteen eighty nine HH coin, but um, so there was only two rolls that I could pretty much search of two dollar coins, but I got fifteen hundred dollars out of two dollar coin rolls. Yeah, and because they're all twenty twenty two coins except for those two rolls, so this is cool. I found a coloured coins. So that's all right. That's good. I like that. All right, let's check a few comments. Normal nine seventy five ten cent coin. Yeah, probably higher mintage. Um, in the coming months, I'm going to have every year of 10 cent coin, what they sort of sell for. Um, but that probably won't be until January, the 10 cent coin be all of the 10 cent coins included onto my list. So I've currently got 19 coins on my coin list with prices, but, um, yeah, in January, I'll probably have all of the 10 cent coins added to the coin list. Um, ch -ch -ch. So there you go. Um, oh, what do I do then? I found this coin yesterday. Maybe I'll do a bit of show and tell. Um, this is a non-circulating coin that I found going through some $1 coins. So this is Sydney Harbour Bridge non-circulating coin. Got the C mint mark over here. So it's a 2007 coin. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think some people sort of looked up the prices when I was on my live. It might have been between about 4 or $5 and about $16, $17 that some have sold for. So probably in really good condition the higher price, but this one's quite worn, the one I've got here. 
Um, can you show coins with blobs? Yeah, I've got a few stacks of coins with blobs, so I'll, sh I'll grab a few of these and I'll show a few of those. Why not? Good suggestion. Um, spot the blob. So all of these coins I've got in my hand, I've got plenty more. That's the blob. That's got a blob over there. Spot the blob. All right, yep, this one is the rabbit ears, a big blob of metal at the top there. It's, it's a fairly nice one, actually. Probably that coin might be worth about, you know, between about 15 and $25 or something like that. Spot the blob. This one's actually quite a minor one, but um, you might be able to sort of see it. All right, so this one's got a bit of a spew, spew So see underneath the mouth of this top kangaroo, there's a little blob on the back of that second one. They call it a spew as though the top kangaroos had a little spew on the back of the second one. So a bit unfortunate for the second one, but pretty funny sort of name for an error. All right, this one's got the big blob on the top root. Um, can I have a valuation on my $1 coin with missing leg and a blob of metal? So the 2015s with the missing legs, um, $3.10 to $17 has some recent selling prices on the missing legs. Yeah, so that's um, there's a blob over here on this one. This one's got another one of those rabbit ears error at the top there. All right, I'll grab it. I'll grab a few more off a, another pile. I've got a, I've got how many? Have I got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five sort of stacks of all these blobs um, that I sort of just put on my desk there. This one's got a little blob down the side of the front kangaroo there. Quite a minor one. Got the rabbit ears error on the top one there. So how much value would the blob add? Oh, I don't really know. It sort of it depends on the condition of your coin. Um, it would add a little bit of value, but probably not a, a significant amount of value but if the coins in really nice condition then it depends how big the blob is as well so like these little blobs like that one's such a it's a fairly small blob this one compared to the, some of the other rabbit ears so this one might only be worth about five dollars or something like that whereas if you've got quite a large blob like this this one might be up even though the condition of the coin's not great it might be up around twenty dollars or something like that because of the, the size of that so it depends on the condition of the coin, but also the size of the blobs. This one might be a missing leg as well as that blob. No, this one has got the legs. A missing leg, because this is a 2015 coin. Uh, when do you reckon the new kings with the king coins with the king on them will come in? At some stage in 2023, I don't know exactly when. Yeah. All right. Oh, this one's just got a tiny blob on the back of that second kangaroo right there. So that's what that one is. Get this one in the right position. Another rabbit ears error. All right, I'll grab a few more off this stack and then um, might do something else after looking for these. So this one in here. So on mine, it is like the arm of the kangaroo went onto the one. It's sort of small coins, about a 710. Yeah, okay. Um, so blob of metal on the front edge there. Cody's saying the new one come out in January. So maybe in January we might see the king featuring on the coins then. Got a blob there. Maybe a slight blob there as well. What years are the blobs? Oh, it just depends. It ranges. That's a 1998. Um, well, this one's a backpack. So this one's a bit of a different location. So the blob on the back right there. Call it a backpack. What is that one? 2010 on that one. Um, hmm. I can't spot the error on this. Oh, I can now. Yeah, I'm looking in a different location. Can anyone spot the error on this coin? You have a good roll. Oh, this no, this isn't a roll. This is um some of the error coins that I've put aside. Um, someone asked to see some blobs. Blobs of metal. Um, three feet. Yeah, it's not, it's not the feet that I was looking at with this one. Tail, Big Jacobs, that's right, near the one. Yeah, so this part over here, extra bit of metal on the tail there. So I don't usually I don't usually look that in that location that often. See this one here, so the tail's supposed to look like this. And the one underneath it's got the extra bit of metal there. So that's a 
That's why this one's got an error on it. I need to make sure I keep looking at that part of the coin. All right, and this one here. Got the model. Someone say there's something wrong with the one too. Yeah, not too. Oh no, it wasn't that coin. Was it this coin? Putting them down in different locations. I can't get the same one back up. All right, so that's pretty much that. Uh, what else can I show? Maybe I'll show a few of the um, Centenary of Federation coins. Oops, might need to zoom out a bit. So these are 20 cent coins from 2001. This is a Tasmanian one. This one's the South Australian design. Western Australia. And uh, what's that? Is that a bandicoot? Hmm, maybe. Why aren't you searching rolls? Because I went to the bank and I got $1,500 of $2 coin rolls out, but just about every single roll was all 2022 coins, um, Aboriginal elder coins. So I only had two coin rolls that weren't the fresh brand new coins. So I'm going to hold on to these and work out what I'm going to do with the coin rolls because they're all the same coins. And that's why I'm not sort of searching because, um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have coin rolls really to search. I do have some 20 cent coin rolls, but I'm going to do that on a separate day. So um, I just went through two rolls that, were, that weren't the 2022 coins. And then I'm just sort of looking at a few different things that are sitting on my desk here. All right, these ones here, are, this one's the Norfolk Island 20 cent coin from 2001. This one's another South Australia, I think I've had a South Australia, I just showed that before. Um, and this one here is the Queensland design, the 2001. It's pretty cool, isn't it? 2001, the Victorian design. Um, it's like I think it's like the old Parliament House or something like that. Or is that Flinders Street Station? I always thought it was the old Parliament House, but it might be Flinders Street Station, I don't know. And then the New South Wales uh, 20 cent coin. George Michael, I just finished a very horrible rugby initiations for my uni, and this is just what I need. <laughs> I'm not too sure what uh, what happened, but yep, good that um, you can just relax and focus on something else. <laughs> I'm not too sure what happened. So I found this coin yesterday. I was searching through two cent coins, and this one's got a bit of bit of an error on it. See, a bit of a lamination in the metal there. So I'll just put that one aside. It's not in great condition, that coin there, but just grabbing a few coins on my, off my desk. Yeah, I found this one the other day too. I'm not sure if that's a clipped edge on the coin right there. So I just put that aside because I might just check my error coin book to see if that is a slight minting error with the clip or if it's maybe a bit of damage done while it's been in public. Um, oh, yeah, a couple of coins over here that... So I found this one when I was going through some one and two cent Australian coins, a one cent coin from the US. And I just thought it was pretty cool, the black in the background. Bit of Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. Um, and I think it's a D mint mark there. So probably a Denver minted coin underneath the date 979. So that's pretty cool. And then I'm from the US and Australia coins are so cool. Yeah, well, there you go. Coin man, I just had a US coin right there for you. And then I was in the bank the other day and one of the bank tellers said, oh, I've got this 100 lira coin if you want it. And yeah, so 1966 coin. And I'm assuming Italian. Yeah, <laughs> it says Italiana. So yeah, probably Italian. Um, yeah, 100 lira. I've got no idea how much that's worth or anything. It might not be worth much. But um, yeah, interesting to have some foreign coinage. Uh, what else can I show? A bit of show and tell. $5 coin from 1988. Oops, we go like that, don't we? So a 1988 $5 coin. Fletcher, could you please tell me how much a 2005 $1 World War Peace coin would go for? Not a great deal, the high mintage. Um, just looking at the prices on my coin lists. $1.90 to $3 was the price range when I last checked. So 34 million of those coins were minted, so high mintage. What else is on my desk? What's this? A 1966 two cent coin. They minted 429 million coins um, of two cent coins in 1966. But I put this one aside because I'm just not sure if that's a minting error in the metal there. Hmm, I'm not too sure. So I put it aside. 
All right, let's check this one cent coin out. 1979. Why have I got that on my desk? Maybe it rolled away from what I was doing, but I'm not sure why I would have that sitting over there. I'll put it on the other side. What else have we got here? Got a 1961 sixpence. These are, I think these have usually got silver contents. This might be like 50% silver or even more. I'm too sure. Does anyone know in the comment? Uh, in the comments, the silver content of a sixpence, a 961 sixpence. Uh, Big Jacobs, what five cent pieces are worth money? I like hunting through five cent pieces. 972s, 972s are a good one to search for. So some prices on those, $5 to $106 each for some recent selling prices on a um, 1972 five cent coin. But yeah, I do have uh, my coin lists. So there's 279 different coins listed and their prices are listed on there. So if you're interested in coin prices, Australian coins, um, click on my profile picture and um, takes you across to my TikTok account. And then just below the Australian flag, there's a link. If you click on that link, it goes to my link tree and the first couple of tabs are the, the coin lists. There's a couple of different options on how to, to pick them up. But this one's a 946 florin. I think about 50% content on these ones. Yeah. Um, okay, cheers, and my name is Job. Okay, uh, my TikTok name is weird pronounce Job Boss. Okay, nice, nice. Hi, how you doing? Going good, thank you. Alana, I have two of those Florins. Yeah, that's cool Florins. I like the Florins. Um, generally, I'll put this one aside because I think it's got a clip, or I'm not too sure if it's just damage or if it's been a minting error clip. So I'm not 100% sure, so I've just kept it aside. I haven't sold it or I haven't put it into my collection. It's just been sitting on my desk because I like to keep a few things out. Um, how much do miscut $5 bills go for? I don't I don't really keep a close track on that sort of stuff, but they can go for a little bit more. But it's a pretty, it's a pretty, um, oh, I suppose, the, the amount of collectors looking for those sorts of things, there wouldn't be that many. So the prices might not be as high. Um, because supply and demand drives price. And if there's not a lot of demand, then the prices might be a little bit lower. But um, if you jumped on eBay and searched up um, miscut notes and things like that, you'd probably find some prices there. Cool, well, I might sort of wrap things up there. Um, yeah, as I said, so I went to the bank and I picked up a whole bunch of coins, coin rolls, but just about all of them are the 2022 Aboriginal elder coins. So I'm deciding what to do with them. Um, yeah, whether I maybe try and sell them individually or sell them as rolls. Individual prices are three dollars twenty to seven dollars each. Recent selling prices, selling them as rolls like this, uh, between seventy and ninety dollars each. People are selling those for. Um, but yeah, I'm going to work out work out whether I want to maybe do that or whether I want to just hold on to them and maybe go over to the bank and get some more coin rolls another time. But um, yeah, so I haven't had a really chance to search too much today unfortunately but um i'll check a few comments and then i might sort of um yeah save those okay that's what michael suggests big job how much does a usual trip to the bank cost cost for a live video um trip to the bank oh well i go to the bank usually once a week and i usually get out maybe about two thousand odd dollars worth of coins but it I just pay face value for the coins. It's the cost in going there is just driving to the bank and back. Yeah. Um, buying rolls can be dangerous because could be enders. That's right. That's right. So, um, yeah, yeah, you do have to factor that in. Ashley, your videos are literally what keeps me my me on TikTok. Ah, <laughs> cool, Ashley. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. All right, then I might sort of wrap things up there and. Um, I'll probably be back with another live tomorrow, maybe searching 20 cent coins. I do have some 20 cent coins to search and a whole bunch of one and two cent coins. So um, yeah, maybe a bit of column A and a bit of column B. I wish could buy some coins in bulk um, from you, Lava Australian coins. Will uncirculated coins from 2022 be worth more because they're the lady with the queen? They could be, Sarah, that's right. So it might be worth me holding on to because I just did pick up some coin rolls here and they're all the latest issue 2022 coins with the queen that's the last last year the queen's going to be on the coins so it could they could be worth a little bit yeah at some stage and 
worth a little bit now, but um, yeah. All right then, we'll catch you later, everyone. Um, have a great day. Cool.